Good afternoon. Well, we actually were able to speak to the store owner today, and uh, she said that she spent the day taking stock of everything to find out exactly what went missing. But she also told me that she's not focusing on the tragedy that happened at their bakery, but at the triumph of the community's response. For Micaela Olivari, it is a very loving island. Moving to Vashon Island from California and starting Mika's Kitchen was a chance to rebuild. I had a, a great location in Capitola and um, my landlord had died of cancer. Then I lost my lease and I moved to a new location and then I got diagnosed with cancer and I beat that and then I lost that lease all in a two year period. And so this was me starting over. But that was interrupted when her bakery was burglarized early Monday morning. Every pan was dumped. I had cookie jars all lined up here. They threw those off the shelf and broke those glass all, you know, all throughout the place. Olivari came in to see her window shattered and her supplies thrown around the floor. These have to be thrown away. But it was at this low point that Vashon stepped up. I was stunned. A video that showed the aftermath of the break-in went viral on social media. Everybody heard what happened. Since then, Olivari says neighbors have been pouring in. I felt like I was surrounded by angels. Offering help and assistance. And you see that jar over there? People are just coming by and get, handing me money, handing me checks. Or even a kind word. Thank you, I appreciate it. Olivari says the community support has been invaluable because it lets her know that she's not alone. People have been crying. They come here and they are, they're just like, we saw your video and we were in tears. It affected them mm -hmm. as much as it affected me. And she promises Vashon that her bakery will open back up stronger than ever. God bless you, sister, because yeah. you're standing yeah. in the middle of the fire. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.